This film of Paisley's Home Guard begins with typical local humour. The volunteers on parade are not presenting arms quickly enough, an effect achieved in camera slow motion. The drill sergeant wants it done at a double, so the cameraman shoots the film at double the speed. Job done. Films like this of Paisley's Home Guard are quite rare. The film was presumably commissioned by local government as propaganda to show in local cinemas or to show to central government. Whichever it was, the storyline is clear. Our lads are primed and ready to repel invasion wherever and whenever it should come. Notably, the regular army also appear in the film, giving every impression of a serious and professional attitude. It is worth noting that at least for the purposes of the film, our lads are armed with guns. This was not always the case, as following the retreat from Dunkirk, arms were in short supply and most volunteers had to make do with little more than sticks or golf clubs. The presence of proper equipment indicates that this film is probably from later in the war. Either that or Paisley got proper equipment so as to help defend the west of Scotland's major industrial centres. The Home Guard was originally called the Local Defence Volunteers, LDV. This was considered too much of a title and it became the Home Guard, though the nickname Look, Duck and Vanish did stick for a while. The Home Guard was also far from a makeshift army. When the force was set up, the government had expected 150,000 volunteers in total, but within 24 hours of Anthony Eden's radio broadcast, 250,000 had joined. By August 1940, at the height of the Battle of Britain, over 1.5 million men had volunteered. This film is also interesting because it shows many of the duties expected of the Home Guard. The volunteers were shown hand-to-hand -hand combat, weapons handling and basic sabotage. They were properly drilled and their fitness was a matter of both pride and importance. The Home Guard were in fact much tougher and rougher than you might think and neither were they all old men. Roughly 50% were aged 17 to 27 and 50% 28 to 65. Many say it was more lad's army than dad's army. Contrary to the portrayals of the pompous Captain Mannering and Blundering Pike, the Home Guard did important work. The Home Guard acted as sentries during the day and night and became extra ears and eyes for the full-time military. They knew everyone locally 
and checked that people were carrying their identity cards. The Home Guard was also responsible for taking down road signs and any local clues that might help the enemy should they invade. As Winston Churchill said, Such a force is of the highest value and importance. A country where every street and every village bristles with resolute armed men is a country against which the tactics that destroyed the Dutch will not succeed. A country so defended would not be liable to be overthrown. <laughs>